Hi everyone, I've got some Davis Cup action for you in this one. Uh, 2019, they changed the format of Davis Cup. Instead of having individual ties throughout the season, they decided to have, or some random footballer decided to have, one tournament, one venue, um, to decide the whole Davis Cup in one week. That was a bit of a cock-up organisation-wise. The matches were pretty good. This is one of them. Italy against Canada, specifically Fanini against Pospisil. Fanini started as favourite. Uh, I didn't have him as favourite to win it. Pospisil had found some form late on in the season. Fanini not brilliant indoors. Uh, expected the sets to be pretty close. I was toying with the idea of putting part stake on seal at the start of the match um, thought he's serving first thought if he holds I'm going to have missed out potentially on a half decent price on him uh, the thing about Fognini is he will often if he starts as favourite unless it's on clay doesn't happen so much on clay he will go behind make a slow start then recover you think you're okay to leave your position on him and then he screws up and loses the set so if this turned out to be one of those games it was going to work out okay okay that's enough waffle let's get on with the show video trade shark with pictures that's tv trade shark whatever Okay, Pospisil serving first. Thought he might be a little bit nervous first uh, first game or so. Going into this match, he had been serving pretty well. So obviously hoping that's going to continue. You see there very low liquidity in these matches. The money that came in throughout the games were, were pretty good, pretty healthy amounts. But because they announced the players so soon before the matches start, there wasn't a lot of time to get some liquidity into the market. In that sort of situation, as long as you can see reasonable figures coming in after each point, they're okay to trade. Either you've got hundreds on each um, on each price. I've decided there at 15 all just to get part stake on Hospicil. The fact that it was 15 all gave me uh, the same price as when they started. That was like the last chance I had to get that price. Unless, of course, he gets broken. Seems to be happy enough on serve this first game. A little bit of pressure from Fanini. I guess the hold to 30. Step through the next one a little bit. Oh, 
looks comfortable. Also holds to 30, nothing in it so far. Bit of a fast forward. It's his first ace. Okay, pretty comfortable. Oops. First point the seal. Loses a point on second serve, bit of pressure. Market starting to wake up. Second serve again, loses it, two break points. Get the break three one. So we've now got Fanini trading just above evens, having started around about one point six, one point six five, and I think it was earlier than that in the day as well. Uh, bet three six five had him at one forty four at the start, so I'm looking or thinking at this day is that I need to switch um, back to Fanini. He had one decent service game and one poor one. And it was a second serve that killed him on that second one where he got broken. Game where he got broken. I'm really looking for a little bit of signs that funny that Pospi Seal is not going to uh, start holding his service games really easily. You never really know if Funini is going to give up when he's behind. But because he's had a decent season, I'm expecting him to come back in this one. You know, the scoreboard got it wrong. Showed us 30 all. Actually, 50, sorry, showed us 30 love. It was actually 15 all. 
So because we're still above evens, I'm itching to switch my position onto Feeney. I'm expecting a comeback. Italian <coughs> supporters can be pretty brutal as well and because this was in Spain they haven't had as far to travel I was expecting quite a big crowd and Fanini would have most of the support and the volume was going to be on his side 30 all really I want to get in now Bit of a delay as I piss about waiting for the the ideal time. You're never going to get it exactly right. That would be a decent time, two twenty-four. Even better, two thirty-two. And I'm doing nothing. Nothing. My plan before the match was to get on him. If he got broken. Hello. Missed two good prices. Okay, he's pushed him to juice. He's putting pressure on. Now will be a good time. Take your time. No rush. Hello. Matched at 2.14, not the best that's been available, but not the worst. Because I'm intending being on for quite a short time. Ten days since I traded this one, I would be putting more on the here, Bonini. Putting pressure on him. I'm expecting some sort of recovery at least from him. Why have I not put put more on you, moron? Come on. Not being a moron. That's looking like 4 1. So we're going to put some more on now. 2.3. Doing something. A little bit wary, so I've dropped the stake a little bit. Obviously now I'm looking for a comfortable hold. Let's just step through, see if we get it. Here we go. 15, 30, 40. Remember to move the stats over. Hold to 15. Now we need some pressure. So my net position there is at 2.4 on Fanini in comparison to his 1.65 start price value. Value doesn't guarantee it's going your way, but if you get value consistently, you will make money. Ok, 
Okay, second serve. Brazil serving. Bit of scoreboard pressure would be good if he can get the first point. Looks like he has. Judging by the market, there he goes. Look, 15. See on the stats, Fanini uh, just one from six on his second serve. That's what hurt him in the game that he got broken. 43% for Pospi Seal, so not good, but better than Fanini. Looking like we've got love 30 here. We have. Point to Canada. So thirty would have been a decent position or a decent price to reduce at least some of the liability. Entirely your choice if you do that. As I said, I'm hoping this is a typical Fanini set. Needs this point, put some pressure on. And looks like he's got it. Everybody bailing out on the lay side. 15, 40. Looks good, everybody's bailing out. It's oh, saved it. So, wine. Okay, still got a break point. He's won 11 of 15 on his first serve, so we could do with a second serve this time. I think it is a second serve, just looking at the way the market's reacting. It, it is. Four from nine so far. That looks good. That's looking nice. Now a typical Fanini set where he's been behind and comes back. Don't expect him to take the set. Pretty much I was expecting like I'm taking some liability out there. Expecting Pospisil to at least be very competitive and really, if forced to pick a winner, I'd have gone for him. Bonini held pretty easily in his last service game. I am trying to get out there. Because I, because I haven't been matched, they're on the change of ends at the minute. I need to cancel that because that's only going to get matched if the first point goes my way anyway. I need to cancel that. Do it. Cancel it. Yep. Absolutely pointless taking leaving that position up. Uh, if the first point went against me, it's not going to get matched anyway. And if the 
first point of the next game goes my way, it's going to be well below the position that we got that we'd have got matched on. Makes no sense to leave that. But if we can have a decent service game here, get back to 4 all. That's my intended bailout price. Bailout score. I, I thought there was a real possibility that having got back to 4 all, it goes back into cocky mode and loses the set. 32 love, looking good. That looks like 40. It is. Junk of liability taken out. But really, my, my hedge price is going to be more or less the same. Going for 155. May bounce that far. Could be lucky. Probably being a little bit greedy there. A few big backs came in. Good chance of that game match. There we go. 4-4, four, four, 400 hedged. That's where I left it. Um, from memory, Pospi Seal won in straight sets. It was either 7 6 7 5 or 7 5 7 6. Can't remember which way around it was. Typical Funini set. See you on the next video.